So Ludum Dare just happened, and I had a lot of fun. For those who don't know, Ludum Dare is a game development competition where you get 48 hours or 72 hours to create a game. The theme this year was Start With Nothing. Massive thanks to Express Unity for supporting me on Patreon. To start off, my first idea was to create a Minecraft clone where you'd be surviving in Mars until rescue came along. And essentially a miss between the Martian and the Minecraft, I was pretty far on this project, but then I realized I really suck at world sprites. And I didn't realize that until I was doing the project, and it I finished already a ton of features, and it was pretty cool, but I didn't think it was the best way to attract those who were trying to vote when there wasn't a really cool background. I'll skip to the main idea that I decided to make as my final game. It's a shooter where, it's a kind of game where you build a defensive army of automatic shooter ships, but you start with none, so I decided to go, but you start with none. Instead, you have your mouse pointer where you can click on the enemies and you can just destroy them instead until you get enough points to spawn the auto attackers. I decided to go with this idea because I really did not have any time to brainstorm more ideas, so I decided, you know, I'm going to go with this idea. I quickly got the main mechanic going, like shooting, enemy AI, and stuff like that, so I decided to drop some quick sprites for the game. As you can see, the sprites are now finished and added into the game, so it looks pretty damn cool. Although at the moment, I'll... Although in a moment, I'll be animating that Earth in the middle of the screen. After around 6-5 hours of hard work anima animating the Earth, as you can see on the screen, I finally got it working, and it's rotating normally. I would always suggest you take a small break when you are coding a lot. I went out for a quick jog, a 2 kilometer jog, for 20 minutes, before I con continuing to animate. I didn't have much footage here, but I got the auto shooters to work and added the sprites before calling it a day. On day 2, I mainly forgot to record, but you know, there's main sound loops, and you know, here's the main sound loop. It gets kind of annoying after a while, but like, it was the best I could do to make a brave kind of soundtrack. I added in the soundtrack, created an audio manager so I can play sounds later. I quickly threw together two sound effects. The first one, an explosion that I got from online, but I modified it by fading out in the ends, destroying, decreasing audio, and then click that I won't be using in the final game with my mouth. I added those effects into the game, and it was essentially playable with everything I hoped for. At around, I had around 12 hours left, so I decided to create a start and end menu, and of course, both are animated. I also added an upgrade system that can help the player during the game, and with that, my game was finished. The voting process should have begin by the time I have uploaded the video, so feel free to drop by and rate it or give it a play. This marks the end for this behind the scenes video. I've had a lot of fun making Defenders, so if you ever get the chance to create a game for any kind of game jam, I would honestly support suggest you to do so. Huge thanks to Express Unity and Jay Tinsley for supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you guys in the next videos.